it's me summer scott welcome to my channel or welcome back it's so good to see you so i ended up doing a poll on instagram with like two different options of what y'all wanted for this week's video it was between a get unready plus a little update sort of thing or a back to school haul yeah back to school haul with an uh, the update at the very end so let's get right into it so the first thing I bought was, I do not like taking notes on a laptop. I am a note taker, an in-person note taker. So, this book is purely for just my bio. You're probably wondering, why does it have three? Because I'm planning on using the last section. Because I'm the president of our honor society, just to write our honor society stuff down. But yeah, so the first two is for the class itself. Then this little book is for lab and fun. Then I got another five notebook with my other classes so I'll just be using this one it's from five size I think it's pretty so personally in my head science is green it's green this is also why this is a shade of green it's the closest green I could get that isn't like ah kind of green if that makes any sense so I ended up getting another green folder from five star exactly same as last time for my bio 112 class just a personal thing, I like, I'm planning on keeping all my bio stuff because I am going to end up becoming a bio major. So it would be good in the long run for me to keep it. So I'm like, what's this? I can go back and look at it. So the third thing I bought is crafting paper. You're probably wondering, like, why do you need crafting paper? I have been avoiding math for two semesters. This is my thing right here. I'm taking math 171. Precalculus algebra. This is not going to be a fun time for me. But I got graphing tape because my friend said they needed it. And if they don't need it, my cousin can use it because they're taking a math. Then, you're probably like, I have a notebook. But I ended up buying, like, notebook paper itself. Due to the fact I know in bio, I wrote a lot of notes on other slips of paper that we had to turn in. And I just didn't like ripping out my book. I know, weird thing. Or if someone needs to borrow paper, I can. So I just bought this. 150 college roll. I just bought the biggest, cheapest pack I could find. So, my mom bought these for me. So I technically didn't buy them, but anyway. These are the Paper Made Sharp Rider Number 2 pencils because I'm constantly losing mine. So she thought maybe getting lead ones would help. They're really cool, and I honestly can't wait to try them. These were bought for me, like about 20 minutes ago so I don't have my pencil couch broke so I got a new one it's by the brand home cube I got it off of Amazon now in here is the other stuff so I ended up getting the sharpie highlighters the clear ones these are extremely cool because I personally never really liked using these styles that I got last year and they're still perfectly good, so I'm actually giving them all to a co-worker because I would prefer them to be used instead of just sit there and just waste away. And once again, because I am the president of a club, I constantly write names on things, so I have a Sharpie. Sharpies are always good. Then I also bought these Bink, Bink? Yeah, I think it's Bink. Bink Gel City pens. These are my personal favorite. Then next, I didn't buy any new mechanical pencils because I still had them plus lead, but what I personally use is, I know, I know, is these, the paper made ones. I have the 1.7 and the 1.9 lead pencils. I have them both. I like them both. Anyway, so I ended up getting the biggest pack I could of like the Eat Made, Eat Joy gel pens. Okay, that's too many. I like taking notes in color and also due to the fact that I constantly have to draw with my major. It really helps. And then I got more lead. This is a 09 and this is a 107. Yes, I know. I traded this used to have this so I combined them so I could get these lead cases. Yes, ignore my nails. I haven't done anything to them in a while I can't then we got erasers 
But anyway, I'll show you the insides of it. Please don't fall. It's pretty nice. It was a pretty nice investment. Once again, I had stuff from last year, so I really didn't go full into like and buying everything brand spanking new. I only bought new what I had to, and I used, I didn't buy a big pan of the Ink Joys last year. And I kind of regret it because I only had like four colors, and to do bio stuff was ridiculous because I'm a color person, so. It just didn't work well for me. But anyway, like every girl, I got a 20 through 21 planner so anyway it's by daily design i can put an amazon link to it if you like it Woo. i didn't drop it yeah I'm, i am realizing i'm holding this like it's a storybook so we have these also i have a problem with numbers with the dates sometimes i just get confused in my head so i numbered them but they come with a clear ruler that you can't see them i'm getting it to glare and then these stickers that I haven't used yet. It comes with a pocket. And the next page is just like their little story. And then it's like personal goals that I don't want to show because like embarrassing. But has the months like this. Let's go to a month I've already written on. August. So up here is um, telling me applications have opened. This is for Ryan to order my books. This is when school starts back. This is when I have to go to bio Thursday. And I don't really have anything written out on these pages. So but the only thing that I honestly have is me looking. Is this where it just says to order my books on the 10th as a reminder. Today's the 7th if you're wondering. I am pre-recording something just for the sake of of me being able to keep videos on time and on track because well school yeah I normally record Thursday Friday Saturday and the occasional Monday of the week the video needs to come out so yeah so a little update at the end is me saying that with school starting back, I honestly might have to change my schedule up a little bit just because of being able to post and work. So it might turn, I like to, I try to post every Friday and I'm going to try to keep doing that. But if I decide to do blogs, blogs are going to be on Monday. No, blogs are going to be posted either Monday or Sunday. I haven't picked a day yet. Or, excuse me, acid reflux medicine, you can't get mad at me for burping. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And like videos like this, like sit down, talky style will be posted every Friday. I'm gonna say at three. I hope I can keep myself to it, but I know myself. So yeah. Also, I'll just tell y'all my class schedule. This is my class schedule with all my beautiful notes written on it. So I'm taking general bio one. Oh, General bio. Let's try this again. I'm taking bio 112 blended. And I don't like this. I don't think I'm going to pass the class. I'm not good when it comes to online. So this entire schedule is ah for me. Then I'm also taking an English 112 in writing. In like the writing portion with um Josh Hastings. And I took him for English 111. I loved him. But anyway, so sorry, for Bio 112, I'm taking more J. I have emailed him a couple of questions, and so far he seems really good. He's he's good at replying to my emails and answering the questions I have. Rate my professors don't rate him really well, so, like, we're going to have to see. Then, this is a class that I have wanted to take, but it, I never get it before it fills up, and I finally got it before it fills up. Um, is Miss in Human Culture. Like, that just seems so interesting to me. But we end on October the 12th, even though we start with everyone else. So, eh. And my teacher is Jefferson S. I, once again, don't know any of these people. The only one who I knew was Hastings. Then I'm taking Pre-Calculus Algebra, which I already mentioned, which is Math 171 with Long D. I'll... Unless I specifically state it's in person, it's online. All of my classes, except for 
one part of my bio is online, which I'm not good at learning that way. But anyway, then I'm taking a general psychology class because I really want to take developmental psychology, so I'm required to take this as a prereq to it. But anyway, we don't start to September the 15th, but then we end with everyone else on the 14th of December. So yeah, and I'm taking this with Calhoun J. I've heard she's a good teacher, so let's honestly hope for the best. Like always, check the description box for social media links if you want to join in the polls. I'll also be linking some of the stuff that I know I can immediately link, like stuff like this is going to be linked. Um, yes, also I have affiliation link with Silly Fans now, so if you use the code um, Summer Sunshine 10 you get 10% off of your order. And the link is an affiliation code, which means if you click it, I make something off of it. I'll tell you the truth. Yeah, it's an affiliation code with an affiliation link. So yeah, you get 10% off. So bye. Love y'all.